Yes, old hay and straw can be composted, but there are some things to consider. Ratio. A good ratio of carbon to nitrogen for compost is three parts carbon to one part nitrogen. This can come from straw, paper, sawdust, and dried leaves. Size. Smaller pieces of straw and hay break down faster, so it's best to shred or cut large items before adding them to the compost pile. Layers. Build the compost pile in layers, alternating between six to eight inch layers of plant material and one inch layers of soil or previously made compost. Turning. Turn the pile occasionally to aerate the material and speed up decomposition. Moisture. Add water if the pile is running dry, but don't make it soggy. Location. Place the compost in a sunny location to keep it warm. Time. It can take two to four months for plant material to decompose in a compost pile if it's turned regularly. Use. Compost can be used as a soil amendment to improve the physical, chemical, and biological properties of your soil. Contamination. Hay that was grown in a sprayed field can contain herbicides that can kill plants if added to compost or gardens. All right, so what you guys have been witnessing, of course, is the excavation of all of the straw and hay that was in the, what I call courtyard. This is the courtyard. So we've got down to, they've gotten all down to new earth again. It's all new earth, fresh soil, and uh, minus a couple of areas in the corners which I can kick out and then grab them with the, grab it with the dingo. And I'm making a big old compost pile over there. All right. Hi Millie, how are you? All right, I have not done the barn yet, the barn has not been done yet. That's my next avenue. I have to attack the barn. So this is concrete floors. 
So I want to scrape it all out, all along here, all along there, all along the back side. And I want to push it out to my big compost pile. So what, it go, what goes on here is it'll break down and compost in this pile. And this one will also break down and compost. And this is a hill, this is a hill. So what I'm using the compost for is to actually level the hill out. Guys, I don't think so. This is not a playground. This is not a playground for you guys. Last time you swallowed a key. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Guys, get off. I really don't want anything broken. I know it's an industrial piece of equipment, but I feel like you guys could break it very easily. Oh yeah, let's just leak, lick the grease fittings. That's perfect. Let's, let's just lick the grease fittings because that tastes great. All right, so this is how we're eating our hay now, huh? Is this how we're eating our hay from inside the hay field? Why don't you get out of there so I can stand this thing up? Excuse me, chicken. Come on, get out. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I don't want anybody in the hay feeder, okay? Goats are very interesting creatures. Joseph! Joseph! Oh, he uses his horns. He's got his horns inside of her collar. Oh, who is that? What the what? I don't even know where that was coming from. Which goat was that? Joseph is being naughty. Yes, yes, go it. Like, is my leg that appealing? Ah, oh, you hooked me. You hooked me. Uh, Joel, what's up? Hi, girlfriend. You know, they say you're not supposed to have favorites. They say you're not supposed to have favorites. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You're not supposed to, right? Joel, come give your daddy a hug. Come give your daddy a hug. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. She doesn't want nothing to do with it right now. Eh? I could so easily catch that hen, but I'm not going to. Where's your bone? Where's your bone? What'd you guys do with your bony bones, huh? What is this screaming for? Oh, are you kidding me? Ah. Ah. You got smashed. You literally got smashed by a feeder. I had no idea that fell over. How did that fall over? Okay, I'm gonna have to do something to prevent that from happening. It's not staying here, obviously. All right, that's better. Who was it, Ada? She looks fine. So this is good. Uh, this will dry out. As long as it doesn't rain, this is perfect. I want the top of this to dry off. Um, we did get down to soil. So the idea is any, any of the fecal parasites or most of the fecal parasites are over that way in one pile and they'll continue composting. That gets hot. The compost pile gets hot. And then it gets moved further into the pig area where the pigs get to root through it and break the life cycle of the parasites. And then we just start fresh. But I don't think it's a, uh, I don't think it's a foolproof plan to get rid of parasites. I mean, you know, 
coccidia and some of those other things can live in the soil for like three years, even up to like five inches deep or something. So it's, it's pretty much impossible to rid the farm of that type of things. I'd have to strip the topsoil across the entire area and that would never happen. So you just build a resistance. We just try to build a resistance, right? Uh, I go live every single morning if you wanted to watch, if you wanted to watch our live stream, 7-Eleven Animal Heaven, either live from Facebook or YouTube. So I'm out of here.